Previously on Marvel's Midnight Suns. Gorgeous, right? Even without the extra hell sauce, she's a beast. She is magnificent, Ravi. I would very much like to take her for a ride one day. I am as ready as I will ever be. It is pungent if it sweats, like a cheese. Is there anything else I should know? Yeah, anything goes. Just don't touch the shades. Ding, ding. This is a place I like to take all my... colleagues. So we just stand here and... Enjoy each other's company. Okay. We must do this I will again. try. That would be Grandma Stark's famous linguine and clam sauce. Bon appetit, Hunter. The man underneath the mask. Peter Parker from Forest Hills, Queens. You got our attention, so what do you got to say, Petey? Um, hi? Hunter of the Abbey, may I formally introduce you to the Hell Knight. We have a lead on a certain mercenary. New York? Is there a problem? Another one? Central's picking up some unusual activity at the New York Museum of Art. Looks like a break-in. One it's Mr. Wade Wilson. Artwork, recently recovered from the personal collection of... Deadpool? That Harlequin is an art thief? Uh, no. Red Skull is the art thief. Deadpool is more of a... kind of like... Kind of like the coolest... Really coolest villain, superhero guy ever. My personal favorite. I have a Deadpool costume that I dress up in every year for the kids. He's up there with Spider-Man in lovability. Although you gotta love a person that just has wit. Good luck, kiddo. You're going to need it. Yes, we might need it. It's just us this time. Oh, bit of a glitch there, running through limbo. It's not very liked by the sound of things. Here we are at the museum. No clue, though. Hydra Mystic in the warehouse. No candles. <laughs> Whatever Hydra is looking for, it seems they have yet to find it. Just don't let them find you. Uh oh, it's Bob. Hey, hey. You the new guy? Sure am. Sorry, the new fully customizable heroically upgradable monster masher. Wisecracking anti-hero. Merc, very occasional hero. Whatever. I'm adaptable. Spin me off. It's a big franchise. <laughs> Stop talking. Are you here for the statue too? What statue? The one my very mysterious and very scary client from somewhere in very Eastern Europe wants me to steal back from the guy who stole it from him? It's the circle of crime. That one? Well, Jimmy, my frickin' chagas. Yeah. That one. Hands up, pants down, ladies and gents. This is a robbery. I'm sorry, have we met? Aren't you... Sloth? No, no, Sylvia. Cindy? Please kill him. Sin, that's it, of course, Sin. Granddaughter of Redhead. I mean Skull. I mean Skull. Whatever. No. Alright, the fight is on. With our new friend. Defeat all enemies to complete the encounter. We never seem to have 
Every time Deadpool fills his Enfuego meter by knocking out enemies, many of his abilities will grow stronger. Successive attempts to fill the Enfuego meter will require more knockouts. Anytime Deadpool takes damage from an attack, he loses one count of Enfuego. Right. Not dying is actually a key part of my strategy. So chaining kills with Deadpool and avoiding damage is the way to go by the sound of it. So we've powered up one. Deadpool has gained one count of Enfuego. Additional counts will take more knockouts to achieve. So the next one but down the bottom, it looks like we need two kills or two knockouts to get another level. Looking around, there's not a lot of options. There's a lot of environmentals, but I don't really want to use the hero heroism yet. We'll swap out a card that we can't use immediately. Fortify is a good one, but I'll, I'm trying to get Deadpool moves to see what we can do with him. So draw two cards. We get another one of those. Oh, we also get Hunter cards, so it just it applies to all characters. That's very useful to know. Captain Marvel's ability only draws her own cards. Okay, we've still got two card plays. Try Death from Above. It does a fair amount of damage. On par with Blade's move, Stake. But we want to try and use the move to finish him. Hopefully that's no, not quite enough damage. Changes things. Deadpool's going to get hit once. Unless we can do something about that. We could feed Deadpool some kills. Hmm. Either way, the outcome is the same. We can't finish anything in one turn. And that is a final move, the Fury. I think that means he can't take any more actions afterwards. Now, Death from Above. After we've used this jump here. Blowing up that container will take a little bit of health away from the shield guard. Not in a great state. We can still finish off this guy, but either way, Deadpool's going to take a hit. Fury will finish him. Wow. We haven't used that move before. That was our last card, so it didn't matter that it was a final move. And we've taken away the threat to Deadpool. Try and get away this shield guards. Oh, I forgot about the heroism. That's okay. So Hunter's gonna take the majority of the damage there, but Deadpool still got his Enfuego meter. Three reinforcements. And they're protecting a soldier this time. Okay. I'd love to hear who hired you to steal that artifact if you're feeling chatty, and I know you are. Wait, you are. We get two quick two quick knockouts. Why is that name so familiar? I'm Captain Marvel. It's finally happening. Hopefully for another quick move. No, unfortunately. Because he's protected, I can't finish him. That's a clever move by the AI. And I can't throw him because there's a new immune to knockback. Very clever play. And slightly out of range of our throw move. Try drawing another two cards. Hoping for some quick moves. We've got the quick slash and counter for two turns. Everyone is going for Deadpool though. We finish these two guys off. 
Having knockback on a quick move is very useful. Next up, the Pain Pinata. Still won't hurt his protected ally. So we'll swap that one out. It's an area of effect. We could do Fury again. After death from above, maybe. There's no environmental options. Death from above. If we can get through that shield, we can probably finish the other guy. And then, yes. Okay, so that uh, that target is marked as well now, so if we finish him, it won't cost a card play next turn. Unfortunately, Deadpool will lose his charge. I don't have any useful items. That's where a taunt item would be very useful. And now Deadpool is now stunned. Up to Hunter. More of them are joining the fight. Deadpool will lose one count. Yes, we kind of figured that already. Those two minions will perish if they stay there. Leveling up. So we only really need to worry about this fellow over here. If we were to jump on him... Just experimenting here, see what we could do. These, uh, those ones seem to be very good when you kick an item and it makes everyone bounce around like a pinball. You are lucky to still, be breathing. still having whip in our hand after all these matches. Though we are starting to get some really good damage dealing potential from Hunter. Could throw a brick at him. Every little bit of extra damage helps. And then jump into him. We still have two card plays. So we're not too worried about being inside. Oh no. We could probably finish that center target. Should we do this? Yes. Stay on the attack. Lilith has sent you here to die. I hope you are We're better off finishing the main target than the minion. Another knockback move. Not quite enough to finish him. I really could have finished him, I guess, with Wild Strike, but I don't want the vulnerable with such low health. Okay, Deadpool's back in action. Right. How do you even manage to find this place? Some pain pinatas got a small area of effect. But it gets bigger as his charges increase. One time I set in for caretaker, this is what I get. A lunatic pervert mercenary. Lunatic pervert mercenary? That's my favorite anime. I know some guys in Discord that are like that. Two for one. Centuries ago. And then we can finish off one of these targets. Brutal. I hope you're keeping score at Next up a wild strike to finish off this encounter. You were too insanely annoying, as expected, but at least he can fight. 
Is this a two-part encounter? Step away from the artifact. Click. Did you just say click? Yes, I did. <laughs> for emphasis. Now hand over the statue. Fool. Do you know what? <laughs> Monologue free zone here. It's in my contract. Sorry. Now respect the click and hand over the Respect the click. Oh. Big click energy. I like it. Wanna help me kill some Nazis? Hydra aren't Nazis. Ah, potato frittata. <laughs> <laughs> the vampires killing the Hydra. See, I had your back. Right. Where is Sin? In the statue. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> oh, it's just paint. Keeping that rating low. The designer says she went that way. Love those fourth wall breaks. Why betray her own people? Maybe she appreciates a plot twist? <laughs> you first. Sin is a vampire, if I recall correctly. <laughs> That's no mole man. Vampires. Vampires can appear in large groups and their bite can inflict the infect ability. Vampire attacks can infect hero cards, conferring bleeding. Okay, a new enemy type. There are elite ones and minion ones, as usual. Got a few options with the environmentals. Start stacking up some power. One charge. Okay, let's use the... Let's get some card options going. Death from above and another quick slash. That's what we need to clear out these smaller minions that aren't around the fire barrel. Take advantage of that first. Everyone seems to be going for Hunter, so having Fortify in the hand is a good idea. But we'll use the other fire barrel. We'll save that for later, maybe. We'll throw someone into it. Can't quite finish off this guy, but if we double team it... And then do Death From Above again... It, that will finish that one. He didn't need that to jump high. <laughs> Well done. You, evil, doer. evil doer. Let's go. Fortify. Since we're going to take so much damage. No point not to use a quick slash. But fortify should do damage to everyone. Depending on how much damage the vampires do. We should be able to survive this onslaught. Especially if we use this first. Most... Most of those should perish when they attack us next turn. Especially if we blow them up first. <laughs> okay, that works really well. Probably should have used Fury instead of... The other move we just did. We have more than enough... Hero heroism to kill these guys. Oh, oh no we don't. 
Getting poor at counting in my old age. Oh, we still take infections despite having a barrier. You're not out of this yet. Whoa, that's a lot more that came in. When vampires attack a hero, they bite in ability infects random cards with bleed. Okay. None of those are cursed yet. That's fine. As far as I know. Word of advice. Never suggest blade is like Get rid of whip. Uh, get rid of whip again. Right, we've got a couple of quick moves. We're going to have to thin the herd. They're all going for Deadpool. One down. Sorry, babe. It's not you, it's me. We're going to have to use Pain Pinata. Oh, that's gonna do a lot. We could damage four. There's a few different options. We'll take the one that's going for Hunter. That pushed us up another level of his En Fuego. All together now, we'll get three cards this time. Oh, we got four cards. Okay. Another Pain Pinata. It's our last play, so we should use Quick Slash first. Your mother abandoned. It's a shame we're not going to be da able to damage all of them. Oh, we may be actually, we may be able to finish this now. Should, should I throw Pain Pinata first? Yes. With if I had kicked the block, it would have knocked him out of the range. And he would have still been alive. Okay, now we can finish this off. Oh no, that costs heroism. So either way... Why is everybody picking on me? It's going to be a, another whole room of vampires. Yes. Heard you got an annoying problem down there. Yeah, we sure do. Vampires. <laughs> hey, I was just saying we could use the help of an actual expert here. So getting rid of those moves there, the whip moves, trying to get something more useful. They appear to be some sort of man bats of both the white and blue sub variants. The dorsal striping indicates they are new breed. Vampires. Finish off this fellow. I don't Overkill, I know. Should have used a quick move, probably. Don't have one, though. Next up, throw the rock. Bad luck for you, friendo. We don't have any more redraws, so we'll blow this up. Death from above. They're all minions, so they're one hit kills. Another one bites the dust. Deadpool levels up. Going to have to use Wild Strike, I think. Oh, just out of range of that rock. Deadpool's going to lose all of his levels in these two attacks, but it shouldn't matter too much now. Oh, we've gained bleed from that card. Obsidian Collar is our special move. It gives us double damage on our next attack. Not that it matters against these enemies. Welcome assistance. Twenty-six bleed damage, that's a fair amount. Reinforcements are getting smaller. I knew I should have asked for more money. Or maybe some actual money instead of all that tulip based cryptocurrency. If we kick this, we'll take two out. Sin and the statue later. Focus on getting out of there alive. Three. Even better. You do have that effect on people. And finishing up. 
with a quick strike. And that's all the enemies down. Once again, Lilith Sir. These vampires are Probably another terrible rating for the battle it. at heroic level two. But at least we have a new character. Finish him. Good teamwork there, buddy. Without that statue, not even a sparkly hole can cheer me up. Oh. Is this about your very scary client again? When he finds out how royally I botched this mission, or worse, when he finds me, I'll be <laughs> deader, pool. <laughs> there it is. You go, new guy. And by that, I still obviously mean the new fully customizable. Come back with us to the Abbey. No. The magical wards will protect you. No. Hell no. You can hide there. Everyone's Let's like, no, no, not no, Deadpool. No. Fight off the vampire infestation. If you insist. Look, Ma, I'm going to be DLC. Woohoo, DLC. And the rating, one star as expected, but that's okay. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Commander Tyrael, out.